Hello everyone, thank you guys so much for tuning into this informational video for if you were born on a waning gibbous moon. My name is Jocelyn and again, I thank you all so much for tuning in. And also thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so if you were born on a waning gibbous moon, this just means that your sun and your moon sign and your natal chart sits at a 225 degree angle to a 270 degree angle. In order for you to figure that out, I have um, linked a video in the description box below so that you guys can figure out how to calculate what moon phase you were born into. All right, so the waning gibbous phase is a time to assess and evaluate, it's a time to review. So it's the time right after the full moon phase as well. So anything that you have released, anything that you've let go, anything that you've actually manifested as well on the full moon, it's time for you to like evaluate that and assess it to see if it will be a benefit to your life. So being born on this particular moon phase you are a natural teacher and you are a natural communicator because you have went through that phase of the full moon and you have learned a lot and you have come full circle. Now you're winding yourself down. You are able to relay whatever it was that you learned in the full moon phase and able to um, learn it and actually distribute it out into the world and communicate it to the world. So also, um, you are like a very, very knowledge, knowledgeable, sorry, knowledgeable person. So any news that people need to know, you are like the reporter. So it's like if you, anybody needs to know anything, they'll you are the person that they go to to get that knowledge because you are the natural like you have a natural gift for gab. You have that natural ability to know everything. You are that go to person. You are like the talk of the town. So it's like if anybody in your family or anybody in your area needs to know something, they come to you because they know that you have the information. They know you have a T on different information. So um, you want to learn to leave a legacy for your life as well. So anything that you grab, all the knowledge that you are grabbing right now in your life, in your world, you want to get that information because you always want to leave a legacy. That is one of the main goals for your life is that you want something that is gonna be tangible for your descendants. You don't just want to be doing anything or learning anything that is just gonna benefit you in your time here now, but you wanna learn things that is going to help out your descendants. So your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, you want to help benefit your family and to break generational curses in that way. That is your main goal in life. And that is very, very beautiful. But you also have to understand that you do make some type of impact on others. So whatever you are learning, make sure that it is going to be beneficial for the next coming generations because whatever, like I said, whatever you distribute, whatever you communicate, whatever you report on, your voice is going to be that voice for legacies to come, for generations to come. You are like that activist energy as well. So you may be um, attracted to anything that is going to be beneficial for like the little man. Like you are an activist when it comes, you may do like Black Lives Matter, you may do something like um, civil rights movements, you may even do something like animal rights movements as well. You are an activist in some way, shape, form or fashion in your life and you are very passionate about those things that you learn about, that those things that you actually care about, you are very passionate about it, which makes you that activist, which makes you that reporter, which makes you that great community. Communicator. I'm getting like a lot of Martin Luther King energy here, Malcolm X energy here. That, what, like I said, whatever it is that you are, what you believe in, you believe in it 100%, and you are able to communicate those things in a way that other people really can't. So, being born on this moon phase, you do have to learn how to listen because you do have so much knowledge that is filled within you. Sometimes it's very hard for you to listen because you are so passionate about a lot of things that you are really involved in, um, things that you are really in love with. Um, 
it's very hard for you to listen. It's very hard for you to see where other people are coming from. So if you can learn how to do that, you can learn that the world is full of differences and the world is full of um, people that aren't really going to believe in everything that you believe in. But if you can actually learn that, you can also be of assistance to others. You can also, you know, trade ideas with each other, which we're actually supposed to be doing anyway. Trading ideas with each other, allowing people to understand that everybody is human. Everybody has a soul. Everybody has a life. And if you can really get that in order, if you can really just do that for yourself, you will be a great teacher. But again, in order for you to be a great teacher, you have to be a great student. So you must learn how to listen. You must learn how to absorb a lot of information. Don't be so guarded on what people are trying to tell you. Um, don't be so argumentative either. Because once, like I said, once you can learn how to balance that, once you can learn how to like really open your ears and really listen to where other people are coming from, you can learn or you can create ways on how people can coexist within each other. And honestly, you can just really create a world of peace. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this informational video. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also, to see more videos like so in the near future, make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell. Again, I love you and I thank you all and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.